Park Ridge. I hope you're having a great week. Um, two things I want to make you aware of before I before we look at uh, scripture together is first of all, later this month we have the membership class. So if you're interested in becoming a part of our church, or if you have questions in what it means to be a member, um, then we offer this course. It's called Next Steps Membership. And uh, my wife and I teach that. It'll be on a Sunday evening. So go onto our website or to our church app, and there's an opportunity for you to register and be a part of that coming up real soon. And then also, next month in September, our church is celebrating 30 years of ministry. And so on the 25th of September, we will be having an opportunity to celebrate both in the morning worship service as well as an evening dinner event here at the church. We're going to remember the different decades, what God has done, how he has moved, uh, some of the stories of the people who have been a part of this ministry, how it's impacted them, and, and how God is continuing to move in the life and ministry of our church. So we really hope you can be a part of that. Same thing, we need you to sign up. There's no cost, but we need to know how many people are coming from a, from a food perspective. So looking forward to these two great opportunities for you to plug in in both August and September. Today, I just wanted to read to you from uh, Psalm 1, the first Psalm. It is a, a great reminder and encouragement about the authority and the blessing of God. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. And then the psalmist gives us an understanding of what that person is like, that person who loves the word of God and loves the teaching of God from his word. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers, but the wicked, they are not so. They're like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment or sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So what a great reminder and encouragement for those of us who are in Christ to go the way of the righteous, to meditate on God's word, to study God's word, to memorize God's word, to apply the truths of God's word, God's law to our lives, because that gives us a direction of righteousness, an opportunity for us to grow more and more into the people that God wants us to be. I hope you're having a great week, and I hope it will continue. See you this weekend.